The next case is Balaban v. Philip Morris. The opinion may be found at 43 Florida Law Weekly, D-838A. The opinion was issued by Florida's 4th District Court of Appeal on April 18, 2018. In this case, Balaban sued Philip Morris. Philip Morris then moved to disqualify Attorney Lima and Attorney Lima's law firm from representing Balaban on the grounds that Attorney Lima had previously represented Philip Morris in uh, similar lawsuits. After Philip Morris filed its motion to disqualify, Attorney Lima left the law firm. Uh, nevertheless, the trial court granted uh, Philip Morris's motion to disqualify, relying on a prior case, uh, Philip Morris v. Carroll, in which Attorney Lima himself and Attorney Lima's law firm had been disqualified from representing Carroll on the grounds that Philip, that, uh, that Attorney Lima had previously represented Philip Morris in similar lawsuits. The question on appeal was whether the, the trial court had departed from the essential requirements of the law by relying on uh, Philip Morris v. Caro in dis disqualifying uh, uh, Attorney Lima's former law firm. The Fourth District Court of Appeal said yes, the trial court had departed from the essential requirements of the law because, in fact, uh, the case of Philip Morris v. Caro was in opposite. Uh, in the case of uh, uh, Philip Morris v. Caro, uh, both Attorney Lima and his law firm were disqualified uh, because, in that case, Attorney Lima was still with the law firm. However, in this case, uh, uh, Balaban v. Uh, Philip Morris, uh, Attorney Lima, had left the law firm. So the court said that there were actually two different rules that applied. In the case of uh, uh, Philip Morris v. Caro, the rule that applied was Rule 4-1.10b, uh, which dealt with uh, representing uh, uh, interests adverse to clients of newly associated uh, of a newly associated attorney uh, whereas in this case uh, Philip Morris uh, or, or Balaban v Philip Morris the rule that applied was 4.4-1.10 C which dealt with which deals with representing interests adverse to clients of a formerly associated attorney. So uh, the, court, the point the court was making was that uh, a different analysis was required because Attorney Lima was no longer with the law firm and therefore uh, the court had to make a, 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 an independent evaluation as to whether a conflict of interest still existed now that Attorney Lima had left uh, the law firm. Uh, if you have uh, a, a, an attorney disqualification issue, please give me a call. I'd be happy to handle the appeal for you. Thank you.